What's up guys, it's Salvaje and we're back at it again of course with another Salvaje Speaks. So I wanted to make this Salvaje Speaks because I want to go a little bit more in depth into ATGs and YGs. So if you don't know what ATGs are, those are basically all time goals. If you don't know what YGs are, those are basically yearly goals. It's pretty simple. If you want more info on that though, feel free to check out my video called Salvaje Seminar Goal Setting 101, where I go super in depth into goal setting and setting goals and all that stuff, okay? So the reason why I wanted to go a little bit more in depth, guys, into this topic is because it's very, very important that you guys understand how you should be setting your long-term goals. And one of the things that I want to say also, guys, is this is how I set my long-term goals. This is what motivates me, okay? This is what inspires me. Just because this is my way doesn't mean that it should be your way as well. Again, I'm just sharing with you guys uh, some information that I believe can benefit you in some sort of way because, of course, it has brought me results. So let's talk about setting your long-term goals, uh, specifically your all-time goals, okay? Like I said on my Salvaje seminar on Goal Setting 101, guys, your all-time goals should be big things that inspire and motivate you, okay? And the reason why you want your goals, your all-time goals to be big, and the reason why you want your all-time goals to inspire and motivate you, it's because you guys have to keep in mind, these are going to be goals that you're basically going to be quote-unquote pursuing throughout the entirety of your life, okay? And if there's one thing that a lot of people underestimate, it's how much work they can get done within a long amount of time, guys, okay? That's why your ATGs need to be ginormous. Now, on a separate Salvaje Speaks, I also told you guys that one of the main reasons why I set my goals pretty high, it's because, well, first of all, I respect myself. Like, I really did sat down at the end of 2017, and I told myself, is it possible for me to reach, you know, 100,000 subscribers by the end of, of the year, okay? If I put in as much work as I can, if I'm dedicated to the goal as much as I can, and the answer was yes. You know what I mean? I felt like it's a goal that's pretty, pretty achievable. I mean, other YouTubers have gone from 6,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers. Why can't I, right? Specifically with the great content that I believe I put out. Anyways, guys, the point is that you guys want to keep in mind that if you set your long-term goals, if you set your yearly goals, if you set your all-time goals very, very low, they're not really going to be motivating you. Okay, like the reason why I don't like to set average goals, like for example, I know this year I'm going to have easily 10,000 subscribers. Okay, so the reason why that's not one of my goals, it's because that's not going to motivate me. And it's not that it's not going to motivate me, guys. Another big problem is that if I set myself a goal to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I know it's a pretty achievable goal. I know I'm going to be able to achieve it, which means that I'm going to be slacking, which means I'm going to be saying things like, oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can achieve that by the end of the year. I mean, achieve. Yeah, guys, I have to say achieve because my boy Victor gets so triggered when I say achieve. Anyway, I know that I'm going to be able, you know, to accomplish if I know I'm going to be able to accomplish a specific goal by the end of the year very, very easily with, you know, minimum amount of work put in, then I'm not really going to be motivated to go after that goal. And on top of all that, it's also, you know, the small goal isn't going to push me past my limits, okay? And that's one of the main things that I want you guys to take away from this video, all right? If the goal is low and you know it's, you know, it's reachable, you're just not going to force yourself to work harder. But if the goal is almost unobtainable, then you're going to do everything you can in your power to make sure that you succeed. Listen, guys, I thought my success was non-negotiable. Guess what? I was wrong. It's not that my success is non-negotiable. It's that I'm committed to my success. In other words, I'm going to make I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that my success is 100% a reality because I want to inspire people. I want to make a positive impact in the world. I want you guys to have a better life, okay? Last but not least, I just want to drop two more points, okay? In my Salvaje seminar, guys, I specifically said don't set down goals that you know you're not going to be able to accomplish, okay? And some of you guys might be wondering, well, I want to make $100 million, right? 
and I don't really know how I'm going to accomplish that, so I'm not really going to set that goal. That's actually not what I meant. I explained it on the video, but I sort of want to explain it to you guys again, just in case you guys didn't get the main message that I was trying to tell you guys, okay? What I mean by that is this, right? Don't set a goal to have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube if you don't want to have a 100,000 subscriber work ethic. In other words, if you're not willing to work as hard as you can to make those goals happen, then don't set those goals. You know, set goals that you actually want to work towards. The last thing that I want to say, guys, is listen, you don't have to have big goals. You don't have to have these giant, ginormous goals that I actually have for myself, guys, okay? It's really just up to you, guys. Everybody's goals is different. Again, I just want to let you guys know... I really do think setting goals is important and I want you guys to set goals because if you don't set goals then you're just basically floating through the wind okay if you don't set goals you don't know where you are going and to all of you young guys out there that you guys don't have a purpose in the world that you guys don't know what it is that you really want to do for the rest of your lives your goals and setting goals can actually make you realize what it is that you actually want to do as a career okay so that's just a little bit of an extra tip. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. Subscribe to join the Salvaje Cartel. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And check out the Salvaje Speaks playlist for more Salvaje Speaks content. Peace out and see you on the next one, friends. And thank you very much for your time.